Come on, finish her off. There you have TJ's chain plate. I think it was probably fine for for longer. I think they just put all that glass in, and they thought we've put loads of glass in. It's going to be all. It's going to be good forever. But yeah, that's the bit that's not good forever. So better, you never um, know, do you? Better out than in. Better um, for some peace of mind. Better peace out of mind than in. The new rig. Yeah, I'd say. Good I'd move. say too. Thanks, mate. High five. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we've been up to um, today is uh, we've attached rear beam to starboard sponson. And you can see some of it there, where the blue fuel ply is. Um, but more significantly over this side, there was a larger piece done with a bit of um, core gone in there. And how many laminations were there? We did four in the back and yeah, four, three in the back, four in the front. Three there, four on the back. Um, that's not finished, but at least now with front beam and half beam connected, she is actually a, a trim run again. So that's good. But the big thing we've done today is we've removed this triangle. It's not a musical instrument, it is a chain plate. And a shroud chain plate. Yeah, this is the main shroud. This holds up the mast. And this actually failed um, shortly after Triple Jack was built, I think in the first race before she went across the Atlantic. Um, this failed. We can see they got in here and they, they this new triangle, so it's a stainless steel triangle with a little bar welded on the on the bottom. And they went to town here. I don't know if you could see how thick the laminate is there, but it's got to be an inch of um, glass, like there and the other side there. And it goes down this bulkhead, both sides. And uh, this was all encapsulated, and it's been like that for what 38 years probably. Um, we've always noticed it was a bit rusty on top, but um, today we decided that we can't just sail around looking at all this sort of crevice corrosion that's going on and trust it. And so we got the Zorzor out and, and chopped it out. And, and it has revealed a corroded bit of stainless steel, but to be fair, I don't think this was going to fail tomorrow. But um, stainless steel is a material that is constantly degrading in a marine environment. Wouldn't that be so? Yeah. And uh, starved of oxygen, hidden hidden in the fiberglass, it corrodes. The moisture gets in there, and it corrodes much more yeah. freely. So um, yeah, a lot more work to put this right because we've got to now remove this heavily reinforced bulkhead, or most of it. We're going to leave a bit of it there. Maybe we're going to cut there take it out from around here, take the whole thing out, and then away from the boat we're going to fabricate like, composite chain plates. So um, that will be the full, you know, how we do that will be revealed in future sessions, but it, it's um, no stainless steel bars glassed into a bulkhead. It will be carbon fiber unidirectional um, tapes on a, on a brand new bulkhead, which we will then heavily tab into this area here and that won't corrode that'll be good forevermore where we are out here there's no water and as you've seen it's quite a itchy nasty experience doing all this glass work but here we have 150 gallons of nanny key best water and a little chonka donka 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 pump <laughs> with a float with a pressure switch there you go all the rinsing you want It's even warm. How'd you get it warm? It's a ball in the sky.